I was very excited uh, when uh, the opera group showed me the idea, and particularly this kind of idea of working with the fire artists, which uh, seemed pretty extraordinary. Um, I think my views on how to handle it have changed since I've sort of started thinking about it. I think my first idea was that it would be, you know, massive explosions and a, a, a lot of noise and a, you know a really big s spectacle. And uh, I think it, it's almost gone to the reverse at the moment. It's kind of it's the way I see it now is almost like um, it's a sort of meditation on fire or something where you'd be. I, I think of it as being round when you're around a campsite and a campfire and you're kind of absorbed in the fire. And I'm trying to create this piece where you'll just have this kind of quite intense, um, almost prayer-like meditation on, on fire. You know, I like the idea of it being just, you know, there's still, however much we know about it, fire is a bit of a mystery to us. How, you know, what are the orange things flickering? You know, it's still, it, it still captivates us all. When, and it, it's something you can't help but look at and, and stare at and get lost in. And I think it's trying to sort of, you know, uh, make the musical equivalent of that if we can. It's nice to to try and celebrate the art as much as, as the sport is being celebrated and it's kind of um, a, a parallel uh, way of doing that within at the same at the same time. You know, I think that's probably how I see it. We had an experiment a few weeks ago with uh, a choir in Salisbury um, where we, we got uh, 100 or so choristers and we got them out into a field in a, in a giant circle and we're hoping, I think, to have the fire and the audience somehow in the middle of the circle, so the sound will surround you. We haven't quite worked the logistics of it out fully, but uh, that's the kind of the dream, I think, at the moment. And so somehow it'll be this kind. Of, it, it, it was amazing the kind of energy you suddenly got created when you had this circle. You, it felt like some kind of pagan ritual or something. It, you, you really felt the sort of intensity um, of, of the situation. Um, I first worked with the opera group on a. Uh, a five-minute opera that we wrote for uh, Selfridges in London, um, and the idea was to uh, literally set up in the middle of the shoe department or uh, or the bag department and and perform this piece, which was about shopping, which we um, which we did there, you know, in front of the the paying customers. I think I'm most excited about the the final event because we, I mean, we went to look at, play, look at situations in Salisbury, which is one of the three places it's going to be performed. Um, and uh, there, was a, there was a few different venues or situations which had interesting, you know, that we could have been right next to the cathedral, but we found this great square just off from the cathedral, which is surrounded by houses, which echoed the sound back a little bit. And uh, you could just, you could just imagine how exciting it would be that people would come out from the cathedral after a concert and they would come into this strange circle with fire somehow. And um, so I'm very excited to see how it all comes together in the end. Well, I have to say the fire does make me a little nervous, <laughs> but that's kind of out of my hands a bit. So um, I'm, very, I'm excited to see how he, how he pulls it off.